guys. So today I want to talk to you about a book written by one of my favorite Ghanaian authors and that book is none other than Death by His Grace by Quay Corte. Now there are so many things about Quay and his writing that I love, 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 love. And uh, I have to say I'm a little biased when it comes to speaking about this author because he is not only my fellow Ghanaian, but he is my fellow tribesman. We are both from the Ga tribe, okay, in Ghana. So um, it's just a joy reading his books because I can relate in so many ways. He talks about, you know, the food and the environment. And whenever I read any of his books, I feel like I'm at home. So. Um, he is um, predominantly a murder mystery author. He also lives in California where I live. He is a physician by profession and uh, so he takes a lot of his own medical knowledge and inserts them into his writings. And um, so most of his novels um, or all of them that I've read are really uh, part of the Inspector Darko Dawson mysteries. And um, I love them all. In fact, I'll do a review on all of them at some point in the future. But for now, I want to talk about Death by His Grace. Now, I'm only, I'm gonna read the excerpt in the back of the book. Um, Catherine Yeboah's marriage to Solomon Vanderpoy is all the talk of a Kra high society. But when it becomes apparent that Catherine is infertile, Solomon's extended family accuses her of being a witch, hounding her until the relationship is so soured that Solomon feels compelled to order Catherine out of the house that they shared. Alone on her last night there, Catherine is brutally murdered by an intruder welding a machete. Chief Inspector Darko Dawson of the Ghanaian Federal Police has personal as well as professional reasons to find the killer fast. Catherine was the first cousin of his wife, Christine, who is devastated by the tragedy. As Darko investigates, he discovers that many people close to um, Catherine had powerful motives to kill her, including Solomon, her husband, James Bensiential, her lawyer and ex-lover, and her filthy rich pastor, Bishop Clem Howard Mills. In order to expose the truth, Darko must confront the pivotal role religion plays in Ghana and wrestle with his old demons the investigation stirs up. So that's the excerpt. Excerpt. You got that? You got that. All right. So when I think of Inspector Darko Dawson, I always think in my head as I read the books, I envision Lamar Rucker as Darko Dawson. If you're not familiar with him, he's an American actor and he looks like this. Ding, 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 ding. So, I love these books because, like I said, Quay Corte, he always inserts his medical knowledge into his books and he does a lot of research. While he does work here as a physician, he travels to Ghana often, he does a lot of research, he speaks to people, and you can tell this is all evident in his novels. And this book is so fast-paced, it is incredible. You will be hooked from beginning until the end of this novel. That's how it is with all his books. And I remember when I was finishing this book, I had 20 pages left. I was trying to do some chores and I just dropped everything, <laughs> sat on the bed and finished the book <laughs> before I continued with my chores because I really wanted to finish it. It's that good. So I think you'll enjoy it. And in the future, I will do some other Inspector Darko Dawson uh, murder mystery novels for you. Uh, let me know what you think of the book and we will talk again next time. Bye-bye.